Welcome to our fourth video, Types of Stress Acting on Adhesive Bonds. The first type of stress we're going to look at is tensile stress. In the case of tensile stress, the force acts vertically and evenly on the entire adhesive area of the bonding. The second type of stress is shear stress. During exposure to shear stress, the force acts in parallel to the adhesive and spreads across the entire adhesive area of the bonding. During the FTM-8 shear resistance test, the maximum duration of the stress exposure is measured. Provided the adhesive has been applied properly and the bonding area is large enough, tensile and shear stress normally pose no problem to adhesives. When stress acts evenly on the whole bonding area, adhesives are able to transfer the highest forces. The types of stress we just covered tended to be easy on our adhesives. The following types of stress are the real challenges. One of them is peel stress, which is a tensile stress in which the force is merely concentrated on a small line-shaped part of the bonding area and very heavily acts on the bonding. The FTM1 test serves to determine resistance to peeling. The second heavy stress is cleavage stress. In the case of bonding rigid parts, cleavage stress instead of peel stress occurs. Again, the tensile force does not act on the entire bonding area, but is heavily concentrated on one edge. The leverage effect results in severe stress acting on the adhesive. Because in the case of peel and cleavage stress, the force does not act on the whole bonding area, both types of stress should be avoided in adhesive bonding designs. Generally speaking, adhesives can be separated most easily by these two types of stress. The last type of stress is dynamic stress. Dynamic stress refers to time-dependent types of stress such as vibration stress or shock and impact stress, for instance due to a fall. Over an extended period of time, vibrations may lead to material fatigue of an adhesive, depending on intensity, frequency and orientation of the stress. However, selected adhesive materials may also dampen the transfer of vibrations. Impact stress is typically short, but may act on an adhesive very intensely, depending on the orientation. So much for the types of stress. Our next video will cover the effect of the substrate and other parameters on adhesive bonding.